Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this uh, post-game press conference for the 10th place, place game of the second edition of the Basketball Africa League. A reminder of our final score of tonight's game, Zamalek of Egypt, 97 points, and Force uh, May Police Basketball from Cameroon, 74 points. We have with us Coach Francois Inyege. Bonsoir, Coach. Bonsoir, Alexis. C'est un plaisir, un plaisir de t'avoir ici aujourd'hui. Et félicitations pour, ces, pour ce beau parcours hein, euh, la, à la Basketball Africa League. Euh, FAP euh, était euh, quart de finaliste l'année dernière, euh, demi-finaliste et quatrième place. Et c'est une, euh, une, un parcours qui est très, très bien mérité. Euh, mais euh, compte tenu de la physionomie du match de ce, de ce soir, et en plus du match de ce soir, quelle est votre appréciation en fait de la compétition, Alexis? For moi, uh, first of all, I just want to thank everyone. Uh, for me, uh, coming from BWB in 2004, where uh, we were still doing camp outside, and now to be playing uh, in the Basketball African League, uh, you got to give all the thanks to Amadou Gallo for the work that he's been doing for basketball in Africa. Uh, this has been an amazing experience for me. Uh, it's been one of the most ex incredible experiences that I had to live with one of my dear friends and older brother, who is Coach Francois, but also for the basketball in, in, in Africa in general. You can see the progress that everyone, every country has been making. Everyone is getting better. The competition is getting better every year. Uh, that's something, as a basketball player, we live for it. So... Um, I'm just blessed to be part of this operation, and, and I, I'm super, super, super happy to be here. Thank you very much, Alexi. Uh, I, I saw Coach Francois looking at the, the stats, but my question this night to Coach will be an unusual one. Um, during the semifinal game against uh, the semifinal games, you, you played against Petro de Luanda, mm -hmm. yeah. and the game tonight was seen a very big contingent of Cameroonian fans in the in the arena uh, cheering uh, FAP. I received lots of text messages from 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 Cameroonian supporters. The, the mobilization here in Kigali has been amazing. What is a special message, Coach, that you're going to send to these fans who've come to support this wonderful team from FAP and, of course, to the uh, fans of basketball and, of course, the fans of uh, FAP in, in Cameroon? Oh. C'est un bonheur d'être accompagné ici, sincèrement, parce que sans faire dans la langue de bois, comme on dit chez nous au Cameroun, avoir ce public-là dans un pays étranger, un pays frère, ce n'est pas donné, parce qu'à euh, chaque match, on s'est senti accompagné. On s'est senti accompagné, alors euh, tout ce que je peux dire par rapport à ce public, c'est qu'on est heureux. On est heureux d'avoir pu euh, atteindre ce niveau de la compétition. Euh, sans ce public-là, peut-être qu'on n'en serait pas là parce que samedi dernier, face au REC, c'était quand même 9650 spectateurs contre 300 spectateurs pour le Cameroun. Alors, <rire> voir le drapeau du Cameroun flotter, l'hymne national entonné, et puis être accompagné derrière le banc comme ça, on peut dire... Euh, euh, on se sent au Cameroun, au Rwanda également. Donc, il euh, euh, y, y a eu une mobilisation qui a été faite. Euh, merci déjà à notre président qui nous a accompagnés dans ce sens. On ne savait pas qu'on allait se sentir chez nous ici. Donc, à ce magnifique public, tous ceux qui sont étudiants, qui travaillent ici à Kigali, euh, je peux dire simplement merci. Merci pour cet accompagnement. Merci pour ce parcours. On aurait aimé... Faire mieux, mais déjà quatrième au niveau continental après deux années de basketball Africa League venant des qualifs. <laughs> on espère que l'année prochaine on ne sera pas au qualif. <laughs> Questions. Bonsoir coach, Antoine Grenier, Radio France Internationale. Est-ce que la différence, elle s'est faite sur la réussite ce soir, on a vu un Zamalek plutôt clinique. Euh, et qu'est-ce qui vous sépare encore d'une équipe euh, bah, du top, top africain déjà le top. Être déjà quatrième, c'est être dans le top. Hein. 
je pense que si on prend les trois premières équipes, euh, ce sont des équipes professionnelles. Faut pas, ce sont les meilleures équipes du continent, les meilleurs pays en, en ce qui concerne le championnat local. Donc, il ne faut pas, il faut pas rejeter ce qui a été fait. Mais déjà, ce qui fait la différence, c'est déjà au niveau du championnat local. Hein, parce que vous voyez, nous, à notre niveau, arriver à ce niveau avec 12 matchs joués <rire> et toutes les difficultés que nous avons eues au niveau des pré-qualifs, des qualifs et tout, heureusement qu'on a été très bien accompagné par la BL, on a également été très bien accompagné par FIBA, sinon je pense qu'on n'en serait pas là. Euh, nous nous sommes assez satisfaits, on a beaucoup appris pour cette seconde édition et on va retourner travailler et puis l'année prochaine, ne soyez pas surpris de nous voir en finale. La différence également s'est faite au niveau euh, du du groupe assez homogène. Les autres jouent avec leur renfort depuis un certain temps. Et ils, ces renforts-là prennent part au championnat local. Vous voyez, la différence que nous avons, c'est euh, au niveau local, on ne peut pas jouer avec nos renforts. Par exemple, vous voyez, Alexis Ouamene est arrivé il y a quelques temps seulement. Pour nous, pour trouver cette cohésion, ce n'était pas facile. Nous avons eu Deshaun, Byers, euh, Minlen. Essayer d'inculquer à tout cela la culture défensive du Cameroun, de Fab Basketball, ce n'était pas évident, mais ils ont accepté travailler. Et puis bon, on a ce résultat, on ne crache pas dessus, on est satisfait, mais euh, on va se préparer davantage avec l'accompagnement de tout le monde, les médias et tous ceux qui ont été proches de nous, parce qu'on s'est senti vraiment accompagnés et, et poussés. Donc on est satisfait et on va travailler pour essayer quand même de, de se rapprocher du Zamalek. Alexis Oui, uh... <rire> Uh, like Coach said, uh, uh, he was on every single thing. Uh, the local competition in Cameroon is yet to get better. Uh, uh, but one thing that I will add to that is that uh, we, we didn't exactly did what Coach wanted us to do as a group. Uh, we weren't disciplined enough to follow his instruction today. Coach Van Dra is, is, is a great coach. He's, he's changing basketball in Cameroon. Uh, he's developing a lot of young kids, uh, 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 like Kolo Kolo that went through him now is in the draft. Um, the thing that we learned today is that we have to come back and work and really work on, 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 on the discipline and, and clinics to get better, to be able to, to beat those teams. Uh, those are the teams that play together a lot. They know each other. They know how to play basketball. Um, Uh, for us to get to that level, we really, we, we really have to work really hard to be able to compete uh, against those guys. And it's, it's not that far. It's not that far, you know. Um, uh, with a lot more discipline, with, with, with the help of FAP and, and the ball and, and, and uh, uh, every other basketball from Jaspora to try to come back, I think we can do great thing next year. Um, we're, we're excited. We're excited for what is to come. This is the beginning. This is going to be a great league. So we're going to leave our marks uh, in this league before uh, before it's done. Good evening and welcome to our post game press conference. The game uh, Zamalek of Egypt uh, and the Force Army Police from Cameroon is the. Uh, third final game of the uh, second edition of the Basketball Africa League. A reminder of our score tonight, Zamalek of Egypt, 97 points. Force Armé Police Basketball, 74 points. And welcoming Coach Will Voigt and uh, Studio Strawberry. Good evening. Uh, thank you for, for coming, Coach. Um, third place, uh, second edition of the Basketball Africa League. Um, Very simple question for you tonight, Coach. Are you a happy man? Uh, I'm really proud of the way our guys responded. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about in the locker room, uh, you know, we came here to win this. So to play in a third place game, um, I think I think was hard for all of us, right. you know, to find that motivation. Uh, and then to also go up against, um, you know, FAP, who always plays hard, always defends hard. Um, So I think, you know, to look at the box score and see that we were able to score 97 points on, on a defense of that caliber 
is really a testament uh, to the guys in the locker room and also to this guy here. Um, you know, we said it uh, after the game was over, but he's kind of been uh, our real leader in terms of competitive spirit for the group. Um, and, you know, I think his performance today was really, you know, the catalyst for us to, to go out as a team and play the way that we did. Talking about performance, uh, Tia Strawberry won the, won the court for 24 minutes, scored 20 points. And uh, looking at your individual performance and, of course, the collective performance, as Coach just said, the team responded very, uh, very well after uh, the, the elimination, I mean, the defeat from, from the last game. Um, how do you appreciate, uh, what's your level of appreciation and what's your assessment of this competition? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm just a competitor, so like uh, I wanted to come out and have a better performance today and compete. And uh, from the jump, I just I just tried to lay it all out there, and you know my guys kind of followed me, right. and you know we were uh, we were thankful to put together a, a really solid performance that um, that we weren't able to put together in the the first two games that we had here. So um, you know it's not what we wanted. But um, I'm very happy with how we played in this last game. Thank you, DJ. Questions? Yes. Oh, first of all, I commend you guys for uh, coming back and being able to play for the third position. And my question goes to the captain, team captain. Uh, we're not going to focus on the last uh, or, or the mistakes you made on the court tonight. We're going to focus on what's next for the team. What are you going to tell your guys in the locker room? What is going to happen? Uh, do we expect you again in the coming Basketball Africa League? And also, we do not want to see you. Uh, we don't want to come here and sit and talk to you as the third position winners. We want to see you win. So what is going to take for you guys to win? Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, our, our, our season is over now. So, um, you know, in the locker room, we just talked about, you know, um, cherishing every moment. Like, um, you know, uh, we came here to win a championship and we didn't succeed at that. So obviously we were down, you know, we had to play today. And um, winning a championship is very hard. So, you know, every year, you know, somebody, every other team is trying to get that championship. So. You know, you just have to compete every game, and I think we've we learned a lot of we've learned so many lessons by the way that we competed in a couple of games, and uh, it kind of cost us a championship this year because we feel like we were the the best team here. So going forward, I think we just learned from our mistakes that we that we had in this uh, in this tournament. Um, a question for for each of you. Separate question for each of you. Uh, Coach Voigt, uh, Anas obviously won the, the Sportsmanship Award. I I personally feel I know I know why he won it, but I would like to hear your perspective. And um, <laughs> DJ, <laughs> any idea what comes next for you? Start with D DJ. Start with me? Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have no idea what comes next for me. You know, uh, I'm getting I'm getting older and you know I thought about not playing anymore but uh playing with this group has brought me a lot of uh passion back to basketball and a lot of excitement and you know today I just wanted to if this was going to be my last game playing I wanted to you know go out the way that I play basketball and I I felt like I I played that that game today and you know we'll we'll see what's next for me um yeah, honest. Uh, you know, he uh, he always has a smile on his face. Uh, he's really, I mean, he's honestly like that all the time. Um, uh, you know, he's a, a a gentle giant, I guess you would say. Um, but he's also like very lighthearted. Um, you know, he, uh, he he's the kind of guy that like whispers his jokes. Um, so I'm, you know, it's great to see him recognized for that. Uh, you know, he, he definitely represents, uh, I'm sure, all that that award stands for. Queen. Okay, my question is for DJ Strawberry. 
um, you still have part of your heritage from Cameroon. How is it like playing against a Cameroonian team tonight? And then what are your plans for basketball in Cameroon if you want to give back to the youth and also the entire basketball in Cameroon? Uh, yeah, it was good uh, playing against those guys. You know, I know some of them from the national team and competed with them and, you know, practiced with them. So, you know, it's always good to go out and play against people that you know and have a little fun fun with them. So I'm glad that we came out with the that I came out with the performance I did against them today. You know, I knew they were gonna play hard, so I had to bring every every ounce of energy that I had in my body to to play against them today. So and you know, I haven't even thought about uh giving back to the Cameroon with basketball um camps and stuff like that. But that's something that I would be very interested in looking into. So you know, I'm going to talk to some of my people and uh, see if we can come up with something like that. Great. Thank you. My questions go to Zamlek, Coach Will. Uh, last time, Zamlek got to be the champion, and now you got the third place. Coach, I'm not worried to be sacked, or what's next for you as Zamlek coach? Wait, what, what, what did you say before that? <laughs> To be third, what? To sub, to sub. Sacked. He sacked. said sacked. sacked. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a messed up question, you, man. Question, yeah, well, either way, either <laughs> either way, it was bad. Sucked or sacked. Was, <laughs> neither of those questions I like. Uh, well, I mean, my contract is over, so uh, I signed on to the end of the season, um, which was which was just completed. Um, so you know the the uh, you know the mission was that. So um, I mean, we came here like DJ said, we came here to win. Um, I think it was tough. I think our preparation coming into here was hard, um, and I think you're kind of seeing that on the court. So we, we didn't play any games between the last conference and this conference. And so not surprisingly, each game, the team, I think, got a little bit better. Um, so it, it's disappointing because I, I, I do feel the same way DJ did. You know, I think if this, if this had been a longer tournament for us, um, you know, I, I feel confident about what what we maybe could have done. I mean, all credit to Monastir. They outperformed us, and they deserve that win. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that's that's kind of what we look back on. Um, you know, as for me, again, I, you know, my contract was through the end of this tournament, which has just happened. So uh, it's always on to the next journey uh, uh, for me. So we'll, we'll see what that that is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> national team because the qualifiers are coming up soon are you talking about the tigers or the egyptian national team i don't mind i don't mind anyone <laughs> uh i mean obviously i have experience um having coached queen's native land uh nigeria as well as angola um i mean i actually ended up in zamalek uh as a result of uh conversations with the egyptian federation about their national team um so I, you know, I never rule that out. I, I love, uh, you know, the global competition. Um, I love Afro basket and seeing the different styles of play on the continent. So uh, it's definitely possible. There's a question on Zoom, Mark. We have, we have a question for someone who's joined remotely. Abdul Hamid Adassi from Eurobasket. Um, first question to coach, just asking you to evaluate the journey so far with Zamalek after coming in third this tournament. And then both Coach and uh, DJ, do you see any possibility to see more Egyptian players in the NBA? Um, well, I mean, just kind of reiterate what I was saying earlier. Um, you know, when I came, I came in at the middle of the season. So uh, when I took over Zamalek, they were in second to last place in the in the Egyptian league. Um, so obviously there was some work, work to be done. Uh, and you know, I really did feel like we we steadily improved. Um, I think what was hard for us uh, again was sort of this break uh, between the conferences. Um, you know, in an ideal world, we could have found some test matches to keep us sharp with the group that we had, because um, I think it really was that. Like we kind of lost our rhythm a little bit uh, and had to try to find it. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, we came here to win. So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed uh, that that we didn't. Um, I guess for the second question, uh, absolutely. I mean, I think the the point of the BAL is for exactly that, that, you know, this is an avenue now in which players on the continent can develop solely on the continent. So NBA Africa has done an unbelievable job with that. Um, you know, Lamine's sitting right here and deserves a lot of credit. Uh, but, you know, you can start in junior NBA. Uh, you can make your way to an NBA academy, which, you know, two Egyptians have, have done. Um, and then from there, you can play in the BAL, and then hopefully you can be drafted. So I think for sure we're going to see a day when that happens for an Egyptian player. Um, and, you know, I'm excited to to hopefully have been a small part in that with this tournament. And I think Anis deserves a shot at the NBA. Uh, if you look, he's the X factor of our team, really. If you look at uh, everything he brings to the court as a seven footer that can handle the ball and bring the ball up, uh, finish at the rim, uh, pass, you know, obviously he needs to work on his shooting a little bit, but he does everything very at a very high level and he's a he's a big time rim protector so you can't really ask for too too much more out of your big guy like that you know um you know coach and I we try to get him to watch a lot of Giannis because uh he's very similar to him and you know uh if he gets that motor that Giannis has uh, look out